Police are still searching for who shot three Southern Indiana men. One man died, and the surviving two were flown to University Hospital in Louisville. That's where WLKY's Erica Cockhill now joins us live with the very latest on the case. Erica? Rick, two men are being treated for gunshot wounds to the head tonight here at University Hospital. 25 year old Michael Harris is in critical condition. Now, yesterday we reported he had died after police gave us that information, but today police say they were given the wrong information and rather Harris is being held, uh, kept alive. To alive rather on life support. Now, also here at the hospital, 29 year old Daniel Smithson. He was shot in the mouth, and police say he is expected to survive. They hope he'll be able to provide them with a break in this case. Crime scene investigators continued to look over every inch of this property Tuesday, a day after three men were shot. One, Fatally. 56 year old Nikki Fields was found dead on the floor of his home in the 2300 block of North County Road. Once investigators finished up here, Fields' family stepped inside. I just walked in and trying to walk back up. What hadn't yet set in began to feel a little more real. Uh, I went in there and they had to cut the carpet up, and it's still a mess in there. Shell casing. They pretty well got the shell casings with, you know, there's bullet holes in the floor and stuff. We're still kind of missing some bullet fragments. We believe those may still be lodged in our victim. Police are awaiting autopsy results for those bullet fragments. We're going to need that stuff to help try to match up the weapon. Right now, we do believe it was a handgun that was used, but we don't know what type or what caliber. So that's going to point us in the right direction there, possibly tie us to a suspect. A suspect who shot three men at Ricky Fields' home. Police say outside of the trailer, they also found 25 year old Corey Harris with a critical gunshot wound to the head. 25 year old Daniel Smithson was shot in the mouth. A key witness, police say Smithson is conscious, talking, and expected to survive, but as of Monday night, was not cooperating. Not cooperating. Understandably, if you've been involved in this kind of thing, there's going to be some trauma. There's going to be a little bit of reasoning of wanting to just, this just the overall shock of the incident. So we kind of get that there may be a little bit of a delay in coming forth with information. If he knows anything at all, I wish he would speak up. Detectives continued to talk with Smithson Tuesday. With still so many questions unanswered, Field's family is hoping for a break in the case. Police won't know why until they find out who pulled the trigger. I want him caught. I want him caught and I want him to do time for doing this to my brother. Several helpful tips have been called in. They've been checking into all of those tips, but as of today, say they've had no major breaks in the case and still haven't developed any suspects. If you have any information, you're urged to contact Indiana State Police by calling 812 482 1441. Reporting live tonight at University Hospital, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News.